channel. Today we're going to do a how to style for a petite frame. I myself am 4'10", so not all styles that work for someone who's average height or taller really looks flattering on my body type. So the first one that I want to talk about is wearing flares. Flare jeans, or even something that goes out into like a little boot cut. Anything where it is slimmer and then gets a little wider at the bottom. It really helps to give you the appearance of longer legs, which is obviously something us short girls kind of want when styling for ourselves. You also want to go for a high-waisted pant because it will also help give the illusion of the longer legs. Another tip is wearing maxi and how to shop for maxi. So I feel like not a lot of stores actually have a petite section, so if you are looking for or a maxi dress or skirt. I would go for a midi in the regular section if there is no petite section because that should fit you like a maxi. But if you do have a petite section, then you should be fine to shop in the maxi section. But I just wanted to give that tip out because it is really hard to find maxi dresses that will fit a petite frame if there is no petite section. So the tip is to shop in a regular midi section that will be your maxi. If you are getting a maxi skirt or dress, I would suggest getting a slit that runs up. It really helps to separate the blockiness. Because we are short, we don't want it to look like that we are drowning. So having that slit will break up the overall look of the maxi dress if you're not getting a form-fitting one. Otherwise, I would suggest a form-fitting maxi dress or maxi skirt because it will help give the shape. But if you are going for a flowy one, definitely look for one that has that slit because it will help break it up a little bit. Something else that we kind of have to be aware of is patterns. We don't want to go and wear patterns that look like they belong on a child. Sure, someone who's maybe 5 foot 10 could pull off certain patterns and shapes, but if we put it on, we might literally look like we're 10 years old. So any patterns that when you put on could make you look like you're a lot younger in the sense of you could be a small child, then I would definitely stay clear of that. I used to make that mistake a lot and then would always wonder why do I look like a kid compared to all my friends who are taller wearing the exact same pattern. It's because you're short, so it will make you look a lot younger. Of course, if that is what you're aiming for and you want to look younger, then go ahead. But if you want to look your age or maybe a little more mature, I would stay away from those kid-like patterns. I'll bring up a few examples on the screen here so that you can see what I mean. I would definitely opt for skirts that sit above the knee or even a couple inches above the knee. Anything below the knee just makes it look like you don't have much leg. It really shows how short our legs are because there's not much calf. If it's going below the knee, you probably have this much calf and then it's the ground and it just it just doesn't look that flattering on us because we don't have much length to work with. So I would suggest cut it off at the knee or if you're comfortable with a couple inches above the knee. Jeans that just are too long and you haven't had tailored, I'm guilty of this. Honestly, tailoring can be really expensive and all my jeans need to be tailored. So I'm guilty of this, but you definitely want to at least roll up the hem of those jeans that are too long. It show a little ankle. It will not only look better on your frame that your jeans are not bunched up at the bottom, it'll look a lot cleaner, but it'll also give a more straight look on your leg. Something that I think really helps to elongate my leg if I do this is to not wear a boot. A boot will really cut it off and it'll just look like you have short legs, which obviously you do, but I find if you go for a heel, especially a heel that has a clear front, I can show an example of what I mean. I feel like it just kind of gives the illusion that your, your leg is still going. Go for a crop top. Now, for most of us who have very short torsos, some crop tops are the actual perfect length for a shirt for us. I think most of my shirts are cropped, and if you wear a high-waisted pant, the proportions look right, and it just looks a lot cleaner. Of course, if you are going for a crop top and you don't have like a high-waisted pant, but you have like a midi pant and you're showing a little bit of torso, that looks really nice too. I wouldn't go for a low rise in a crop top, at least for me, it's just not something that looks very flattering. Vertical stripes will be your best friend because they also give the illusion of being taller. Whether it's a vertical top, whether it's the pinstripe pants, whether it's a pinstripe suit, but those lines will definitely help give the illusion that you're taller than you are. Definitely skip the shapeless dresses and tops. You want to have that shape. We don't have much torso to work with, so if we're wearing something that just 
flows down and it looks like we're drowning in it it's just not gonna look that flattering if even if you do have a dress that's flowy I would add a belt I would add a corset you want to add that shape you want to cinch in your waist in some way there are some hacks I've seen on TikTok where you could take a bracelet and you could kind of tie up the back and use a hair elastic and it cinches in the waist in the back while also making your dress fit a little better it ruches it up it will also bring it up a little higher if it's dragging i would try and look for some hacks like that for dresses that also may be too long or shapeless that way you can really show off your figure and then my last tip is to go for v-necks anything that really is squared off just doesn't help draw the eye to a longer torso to longer shape it's very just cut off but that v-neck will help draw the eyes down it does help create the illusion of this longer frame and it doesn't have to be like a deep plunge v it can be a little bit of one it's all about illusions and that will definitely help create that thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you want to see more videos like this then please let me know down in the comments i hope you guys have a great rest of your day and i'll see you in my next video thanks so much bye